Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to look into a very, very important topic, which is Niti Aayog. Okay, Niti Aayog, it is uh, something which stands for the National Institution for Transforming India. We know that this is a body which has replaced the Planning Commission of India. And in this video, we are going to see all the details. Um, for the time being, what I've done is that um, I have taken this particular topic today because um, I found that many questions have been repeating with respect to this topic. That's why for the time we, we have uh, taken a step back from uh, the expected questions. After discussing this topic, we will definitely go to uh, go back to the uh, expected questions and we'll be doing videos on the same. Um, uh, so as I've al already told you, we will be taking some important topics like this in between uh, discussing uh, the questions. Uh, I don't want to waste any more of your uh, time uh, because time is precious as, as you all know. Uh, so let's get started with respect to the National Institution for Transforming India or Niti Aayog. If you look into uh, this body, you can see that uh, before seeing Niti Aayog, it is very much important to see the uh, predecessor of Niti Aayog, which is a planning commission. So, the planning commission uh, has got a legacy of 65 years and this is something which has been replaced by what is known as Niti Aayog. You have to understand that the utility and significance of planning commission had been questioned for a longer period. They are in, they are the ones, I mean the planning commission was a, a body which was entrusted with the responsibility of uh, taking up five year plans. The replacement seemed to be more relevant as well as responsive to the present economic needs and scenario of the country. We know that our country uh, has changed a lot if you compare the present situation of the country with what we had during 1947 or what we had during 1991. I, uh, you might be knowing why I have taken 1947 and 1991 because in 1947 we have received uh, our freedom, we have received independence or India became independent and in 1991 it is very important with respect to the economic um, scenario of India because uh, it was during this period that India went for the LPG or liberalization, globalization, privatization reforms. The great 1991 reforms is something which is very much important as far as Indian economy is concerned or the uh, um, development of our country is concerned. So, the, if you compare the uh, past India with what we have during uh, 2022, you could see a drastic change, right? So, uh, uh, you can see that the planning commission, it was a, uh, uh, it was an organization uh, which was governed by the government. Okay, but so it was a government body only. Now, coming to Niti Aayog, uh, you can see that uh, it is, this too is an organization which is, uh, which plays a very important role in the development process of our nation and it is the prime minister who is acting as the uh, uh, chairman of this body and we have a vice chairman as well, which is Dr. Rajiv Kumar, and um, he uh, he he had assumed his office during September 2017, and he, he is continuing with his office till now. Coming to uh, the media, we can see that in there have been a very very uh, drastic as well as what to say. Uh, a very expansive kind of discussions with respect to Niti Aayog. We know that one district, one product, one policy, all these kinds of things are the agenda of Niti Aayog uh, governing council because this is something which they have taken to intend to boost export at the district level. This Niti Aayog commission or Niti Aayog body had taken many judgments, taken many verdicts of Supreme Court and National Green Tribunal uh, with respect to the uh, Indian economy and they have taken certain issues like the issues of migrant workers all these kinds of things and uh, this body was framed on uh, many uh, many what to say many uh, 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 amendments many uh, rights many uh, uh, laws many acts all these kinds of things have come came together to constitute this body because all after, it was only after looking at into all these kinds of issues we 
had uh, we had a we had an impression in our mind that uh, planning commission could not do with all these things and we had a new we should have a new body uh, which should replace plan planning commission which had the sole objective of uh, going through the five year plans and all so uh, the aim of uh, this niti ayog was to facilitate the easy access of credit to farmers to reduce a large number of land related lit litigations all these kinds of things apart from uh, development process we niti ayog uh, had an impression in its mind that uh, uh, we in, we should have a development uh, at at this objective so when you have development as its objective what we should have is that we should concentrate on uh, we should give simultaneous con concentration on different aspects of the economy okay so that's why it had uh, it had given importance to investors it had given importance to global level uh, kind of uh, investment it had given importance to competitiveness it had given importance to agriculture all these kinds of things so uh, in order to understand the latest developments of Niti Aayog as well as the other government organization with respect to the development process of our economy, what we have to do is that you have to get updated with the current affairs. This is very much important. Okay, so um, without going uh, uh, to the depth of all these kinds of things, let's understand the evolution of Niti Aayog. We have already seen that. Uh, this is something which has replaced the planning commission. Okay, when and how? Why? Why? and what made uh, this replacement possible in India. Just understand these things in this video. Uh, first of all, coming to the evolution of Niti Aayog. Niti Aayog, as we have already seen, this is a body. It's a government body which was formed on January 1st of 2015. And coming to the word meaning of Niti, when it says Niti, it means that morality, it means that behavior, it means guidance, all these kinds of things. So in Sanskrit, this is the meaning of the word needy. So it is from the uh, language Sanskrit that we have borrowed the term needy. But you have to see that how it could be matched with respect to the present context. In present context, needy stands for National Institution for Transforming India. Okay. So this is a policy making institution as far as India is concerned. And it is expected to boost the economic growth with respect to India. It, it aims to construct a strong state which would be helping to create a dynamic as well as a strong nation for India. It is with the with an aim of helping India to emerge as a world market economy that we have gone for Niti Aayog. So as a result, we could have two hubs, namely uh, Team India Hub and Knowledge and Innovation Innovation Hub. What is Team India stands for? Team India is actually something which leads to the participation of Indian states with the central government. And coming to the Knowledge Innovation Hub, it is something which builds the institution's uh, think tank capa ca capacities or capabilities. Okay, so uh, if you come back to Niti, you can see that um, uh, uh, it, it is something which additionally creates itself as a state of art resource center with some essential resources, knowledge, skills, etc. in order to empower, uh, in order to increase its speed, in order to advance research, innovation, etc. The reasons for setting up a Niti Aayog is that the people, they had some certain expectations in their mind with respect to growth, development, etc. Uh, in, in the arenas of administration. Okay, so they want to ensure their participation in the administration and this required institutional changes in the administrative level and also what we had, what, what we should have is that active strategy shift which could be able to foster some substantial scale change with respect to administration and um, administration uh, through people's participation. With that, we move on to the objectives of Niti Aayog. Uh, first of all, the body wanted to have active participation of states uh, in the light of national objective and they, it wanted to provide a framework which is a national agenda. And it aims to promote cooperative federalism. This is a very important term that you have to be familiar with, cooperative federalism. So it wanted uh, to promote the same and uh, uh, how when it comes to the question of how to co promote cooperative federalism, for this also, Nidhi Ayuk has had an answer in his mind. 
it was to promote the this idea through well ordered support initiatives and mechanism that the state on uninterrupted basis then it aimed to construct a methods to formulate a reliable energy sorry a reliable strategy at the village level and also the it, it uh, aims to incorporate national security interests then it uh, had paid special consideration to the sectors of the economy like what we could see in the case of priority sector okay now uh, it also proposed some strategic and long term policy and program it also uh, uh, gave advice and encourage partnership between important stakeholders then it also aimed to generate knowledge innovation entrepreneurial support etc it provides a platform for resolution of inter sectoral and inter departmental issues then it preserves the state of the art resource center it it also helps to screen and assess the implementation of programs and initiatives then it pays attention to technology improvement it also undertakes some necessary activities for the implementation of national development agenda so these are the important objectives i was just stressing through the objectives so please be familiar with all the objectives and you ha can have a possibility to guess get questions with respect to objectives of niti ayog so please uh, please be very uh, thorough with all these kinds of objectives now with that we move on to the next topic that is the pillars of effective governments which are envisaged by niti ayog uh, first of all we ha we had seen that this is with the expectation of people with respect to the administration they wanted their participation to uh, reflect it uh, in the administration it is with this motive that they have opted for niti ayog okay so it is actually pro people that means that it fulfills fulfill the aspirations of society as well as the individual and next it is pro activity that is in anticipation on uh, response to citizens needs whatever it does whatever it functions however it functions all these would be in anticipation uh, of people uh, or all these would be in response to the needs of the people then next with respect to participation it is something which ensures the involvement and participation of its citizens it is empowering especially as with respect to women now it includes it takes care of the idea of inclusive growth so inclusion of all people irrespective of their caste creed gender all these kinds of things were taken into consideration uh, when we come to need the io next equality it provides equal opportunity to all people uh, irrespective of their age irrespective of their uh, gender irrespective of their caste or creed or whatever it may be okay next very important topic is transparency that is uh, it makes the government visible as well as responsible to the public or for the public coming to the composition we have seen that it has a, it has got a chairman as well as a vice chairman right so it is the prime minister who is acting as a chairperson that is the chairman okay now coming to the governing council it consists of the chief ministers of all the states of india and also it consists of lieutenant governors when it comes to union territories so be very sure with this in the case of states you have chief ministers whereas in the case of union territories what you have is lieutenant governors apart from the uh, form, formal governing council at the central level you have regional councils as well so this would be created in order to address some particular issues or possibilities etc affecting more than one state and this is formed for a fixed term okay this is uh, something which consists of chief ministers lieutenant governors and this would be chaired by chairperson of niti ayog or his or her nominee coming to the special committees of niti ayog there will be eminent experts specialists uh, people who are experts in certain knowledge or domain uh, all these people would be nominated by the prime minister next you have full term organizational framework which include uh, uh, prime ministers as a chairperson then you will be having vice chairperson as well coming to the members you will be having full time members as well as part time members also you will be having ex officio members okay coming to the part time members they will be having a maximum uh, uh, period of tenure uh, maximum two members from former universities would be there there will be uh, people from uh, innovative organizations etc and ex officio members would be consisting of uh, maximum four members uh, which would be nominated by the prime minister of the country then there is something called called chief executive officer 
he or she would be appointed by the prime minister of the country for a fixed tenure and the rank will be secretary to the government of india coming to the achievements of niti aayog after replacing the planning commission of india uh, niti aayog came into being in 2015 this is what we have seen already let's understand and uh, now we are in 2022 right it had uh, 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 it had passed a long way so we have to see whether the niti aayog uh, concept was a success or whether it was a failure with respect to india when you compare the same with the planning commission you could see that the latest report of 2019-20 had mentioned some achievements of this particular body the first and foremost is the monitoring and analyzing food and agriculture policies of india so here it could collaborate its policy with um, the food and agriculture organization this is a very important um, step taken and also uh, the national agriculture price policy and national food security policy was selected for the agriculture product marketing committees and district respectively then um, uh, in the third phase what it could be seen is like niti aayog uh, governing council from uh, promoted zero budget national farming then Uh, national farming is actually uh, promoted by bharatiya prakriti krishi padathi a uh, program uh, so this uh, apart from this we could have a village tourist scheme which again was promoted by niti aayog so all these things were considered as, as the achievements of niti aayog coming to the functioning of uh, national institution for transforming india this is to foster the uh, co- uh, the idea of cooperative federalism through structured support in- incentives and also it promotes certain mechanisms with the state on a continuous basis recognizing that a strong state makes strong action very important question what is the basic difference between plan- planning commission and niti aayog we have seen that uh, planning commission was running smoothly but in between it had to Uh, it had to face certain hindrances it had, it had to face certain problems with respect to development of the country so in order to do away with all these kinds of problems um, hindrances obstacles what the government has done is the government had gone for a new body which is known as the national institution for transforming india or simply niti aayog which had replaced the planning commission during uh, 2015 and it has taken it has got many achievements this is what we have discussed all these things are something which we had discussed now let's see the basic differences between niti aayog and planning commission niti aayog is replaced by planning commission sorry niti aayog replaced planning commission this is already we have seen and it is basically a think tank or an advisory body and the planning commission designated sorry decide five year plans it, it was the sole responsibility of planning commission to go for five year plan but after the replacement of planning commission by niti aayog niti aayog we have done away with planning uh, planning with respect to five year plans okay we don't have five year plans anymore what we have is just uh, implementing policies programs all these kinds of things we don't have the idea of five year plans anymore what is niti aayog with respect to uh, the governing body it is actually an executive body Uh, in 2014 narendra modi has announced that the planning commission is abo- ha- it is going to be abolished it is going to get abolished and there will be a new body which is known as niti aayog in the place of planning commission which is neither a constitutional body a statute nor a statutory body which would be an just an executive body okay so that's all for today please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and you can you have to be very thorough with uh, the concept of niti aayog and also its objective is very important because we have seen the in the questions we have discussed as well we could see that there have been there have been many questions repeatedly asked from the arena of planning and uh, uh, niti aayog so you have to be very much um, sure that you have gone through all these kinds of things all these kinds of questions so please be very taro with all these kinds of things i don't want to go more with respect to uh, planning commission and niti aayog we have done videos on planning as well so you can go through that videos as well um, uh, don't think that since we don't have the uh, five year plans right now uh, planning is something which have to which you have to do away with planning is a very important topic still it is considered to be very important uh, you have to understand that 
still there are questions which are asked in, from the arena of planning and five year plans as well so uh, you have to be very thorough with both planning as well as uh, planning as well as niti ayog okay you have to be equally sure about all these things all the both of these things you have to be equally sure about so with that i would like to end today's session please like share and subscribe and also you can be a part of my telegram group and telegram channel to discuss your doubts um i'll be providing the links of both my telegram group and telegram channel in the description box from that you can join thank you